Welcome. Welcome to today's 1025. Max Lucado tells the story of a person who changed the location of where he was operating his business. And in doing so, a friend of his sent over a nice bouquet of flowers to celebrate that occasion. And a few days later, that friend stopped over to visit the man's business in the location, but was pained to see that the florist had made a mistake when delivering the flowers to her friend. For inside the bouquet was one of those little cards that all florists use when sending uh, arrangements to people here. But the card inside that bouquet unfortunately read, rest in peace. And so she called the florist shop to complain. And the owner of the florist shop answered the phone and listened to the lady explain the, make that, uh, the mistake that the delivery person had made there. And the owner for the florist shop apologized and then said, you know what? It's probably worse somewhere else because somewhere in this city is another set of flowers sitting in a cemetery that says, congratulations on your new location. <laughs> we all make mistakes. I've made several mistakes when praying during the service from the prayer requests that are turned in during the collection of our offering here. You know, one time I was praying a request for a sister of a member who was overdue in her pregnancy. Uh, she was now in her 41st week and she would need a C-section that week if she didn't go into labor. However, my wife and my daughter started laughing during my prayers, which the whole congregation started to follow because I had prayed for a woman who was now in her 41st month of her pregnancy. Yeah, another time I prayed for a relative of a member to safely make it home from traveling to his father's funeral in Iowa, but I mistakenly changed their names, so I prayed for the dead father to safely make it home from his trip to Iowa. You know, blunders are a sign that we're all human. Sometimes we make mistakes because we're just in too much of a hurry. Other times we make mistakes because we don't follow the instructions. Sometimes we make mistakes when we're panicking over something here. But sometimes our mistakes just come because of poor timing or because of inconsistency or a lack of discipline on our part. However, the largest mistakes that are recorded in the Bible, they come from a different source. Many mistakes come from blind spots that we just don't recognize. Judas Iscariot didn't see that his love for money would lead him to betray Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. King Saul didn't see that his lack of patience would lead to Israel's defeat by the Philistines immediately following the death of Samuel. Cain didn't see that his jealousy over his brother would lead to the first murder committed in this world. You know, my friends, blind spots can be deadly. And we've seen great evidence of blind spots recently regarding the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. That policeman who killed Mr. Floyd was evidently blind to the effects of placing his knee upon Mr. Floyd's neck or even more so, blind to the effects of his racism and its effects upon him in being a cop. And all the people who rioted following Mr. Floyd's death were blind to the effect of their looting and stealing. Many of the businesses that they burned will never reopen, and people living there now are robbed of jobs and of food and all that those businesses provided to them and everybody living in their neighborhoods. 
No wonder. You see, that place where your side view mirror can't see that vehicle along and slightly behind you, that's also the blind spot as we're living out our lives. For we often don't see the full spectrum around us. You know, all of us in driving have almost hit another car because we didn't carefully check that blind spot as we were driving. And thus, may God, through his word, show you the blind spots in your life. May God, through his power of prayer, reveal what you're not seeing as you look at yourself and at your actions. And may God, and this is guaranteed because it's recorded in God's word through the death and resurrection of Jesus, forgive you for all of your sins and help you to live the type of life that he desires. May God grant this for Jesus' sake. Amen.